Executive Mosaic is honored to recognize Mac Curtis, Chairman of the Board at Cubic, as a 2024 WASH 100 Award recipient for driving the adoption of digital intelligence business platforms and analytics to address near-pair challenges. The National Geospatial Intelligence Agency is soliciting proposals for a $290 million contract to acquire unclassified commercial GeoInt-derived computer vision and analytic service capabilities. Here NGA's Director of Commercial Operations Devin Brand speak on a panel discussion at the Potomac Officers Club's 2024 Space Summit on March 5. In his latest GovCon Expert column, TechnoMile Chief Operating Officer Mick Fox shares five important ways that a purpose-built contract lifecycle management software for the aerospace and defense industry excels beyond horizontal CLM solutions at driving value and results. Ryan Higgins, formerly Chief Information Security Officer and Deputy Chief Information Officer at the Department of Commerce, has been named Acting CIO and Chief AI Officer at DOC. Lockheed Martin has secured a potential five-year, $111.7 million delivery order under a previously awarded contract to design and test an electronic warfare support system for the U.S. Navy's submarines. Jim Edwards, former Senior Vice President of Business Development at SOS International, has been elevated to the role of Chief Growth Officer at the company. BAE Systems has secured the regulatory clearances needed to acquire Ball Aerospace and is set to implement measures to close the transaction in the coming days. Parsons has reported that its fourth quarter revenue in fiscal year 2023 increased 35% year-over-year to $1.5 billion and full-year revenue jumped 30% to $5.4 billion. California-based cybersecurity company Armis has purchased Cyber Threat Cognitive Intelligence as part of efforts to expand its platform's capability to provide early warning cyber intelligence for government organizations and enterprises. The Department of Homeland Security's Federal Emergency Management Agency has started soliciting information on potential vendors that could provide operations and maintenance, requirements gathering and related support services for the risk mapping, assessment and planning IT program.